Hello YouTube, this is Cosmo10. Today I'm going to show you a very simple technique to get 100k credits in the early game. Now, the first thing you want to do is to contact the station. So, we're just going to get some simple fugitive bounties, does not matter which ones, as long as we just get them. Sorry for the lag, that's just how this game works. Okay, we're just going to take out these three and we should have enough money to do what we need to. Go straight here, we're gonna take out this guy, we're gonna pause, we're gonna see what we're dealing with. And it's just a cannon guy, so we're just gonna shoot and he'll die. Nice. And now we're gonna look at it, we're gonna take this out, this, this, and then kill it. Alright, that should be it. Okay, nice. We're gonna quickly grab some resources, just so things are cheaper. Alright, let's take out this guy. Should be the exact same process. Pause a second. You see them and it seems to be a similar ship from before so we're just going to take it out and there we go all right so you don't have to use this ship but i'm using it for the example um okay thank you game for lagging all right we're gonna quickly grab all these bounties which is gonna be nice and then we're gonna get the small hyper drive so that's underneath this boom small hyper drive so the reason why we get that is so we can actually travel to uh better systems in your early game Okay, so we're gonna add it right here, doesn't matter. And just for the heck of it, let's go get some better thrusters because we have the resources to do so and uh, make it so. All right, now with this setup, we can now travel the stars. All right, let me make sure I have enough Hyperium or whatever it's called, this stuff. It's gonna purchase this all. We're not gonna need this much, but it's better to have it. Okay. Now let's very quickly travel to a big system. So we want to go over to a, a 1618, which is right here. So that'll be one, two, three jumps. So that'll be pretty easy to do. All right, so we want to take the one on the bottom left, which is this one here. So now we're in this system. You might be asking, why are we going to the worst system for a beginner player? Well, it's because we can use some simple techniques. All right, so we're just gonna travel. Hopefully we don't stumble into anything, but we probably are. So I'm assuming we're gonna get chased at some point, but luckily we do have a lot of thrust. So we shouldn't die or anything. Okay, so what we're doing is just trying to get to this question mark. That question mark does contain the best. Okay, this is not good, not good. All right. So what just happened there was a very quick encounter. Luckily, since we're going so fast, we were able just to sneakily maneuver over it however my game is severely like severely lagging because of the chaos that just happened there but that is the premise all right we're gonna try to get chaos to happen and we're just gonna kind of uh initiate it so we're gonna try to take out one of these huge to die so i'm just gonna collect all these preferably want one really close to the station such as this one in fact uh it seems like some some bad things have already happened so let's see if we can kite uh this guy over to the station We'll see. So uh, this is not the guy we want, but luckily he is just on the, the border here, which means that we can kite the guy uh, into a, a good position. Now, uh, how this game works based on the several runs that I've done is uh, once you're in the circle, after a bit of time, it seems like the person will start realizing you're there. Okay, that is where this guy is. So let's see if we can get this unknown contact to attack this unknown contact. So it's pretty easy. We're just gonna go right here. And in theory, uh, it will be like, hey, there's a guy here and it's gonna try following us. We'll see though. So the second we see him turning, we're gonna panic and uh, immediately go backwards. Oh, it seems like they're already fighting. It seems like there's several missiles coming my way. Luckily I can just dodge them. So I'm gonna do that. So they're gonna come back around, but luckily I hit him with a quick dodge, and there we go. So it seems like these two are already fighting, so we're just gonna allow that to happen. What the, there's more. Stop. Don't, don't, stop sending missiles over here. You don't know I'm here, actually. All right, we're just gonna kinda sit back and watch this happen. And maybe this guy's gonna lose, maybe not. We'll just have to see. So based off the trail, seems like they're both equally losing, so uh, it might take a while. That's why we have 8x speed. Oh, it seems like this guy is, is going in the middle. Which is just more chaos, which we love. Wanna see more shenanigans. Unfortunately, this guy seems to be getting away with it. 
because this stupid unknown contact decided to attack this unknown contact instead of attacking my guy. Damn. Alright. So, is this just a lost? Oh, hey, look, a fourth guy shows up. Alright. Alright, I'm liking this. So, in theory, these two are going to attack after bullying this guy. Unless these two are already attacking. Hold on. Is this guy getting double teamed now? Ooh, that's good. That's good if they're getting double teamed. Because then we win. So it doesn't matter who takes out the target, as long as the target gets taken out. Which is why we can just sit here and watch. Alright. Now, I'm not going to go in there, because the missiles will, they will fire at me, and they will try taking me out. Alright, seems like, uh... Oh! Did they die? They did, because the the circle's no longer there. Which means now I can head over to the station and collect 100k for free. I didn't even do anything. I just sat there and watched it all unfold. Now, unfortunately, this method doesn't work every time, because uh, sometimes there's just, like, not enough things happening. So, preferably, you take the, the bounties that are closer to the star, because that's where the most action happens. But as you can see... I played for this long, and I've gotten 152k now. <laughs> Just like that. Look at all this loot that's on the ground that I can now take. And it seems like this unknown contact wants to uh, get the smoke. We'll, we'll watch this happen. We're going to take refuge, refuge right there as this happens. So this is another level 18 guy. So, <laughs> so this is going to be an interesting fight. So we're just gonna chill here. We're not gonna be attacked because we're not the main main threat here. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know how this game's gonna work. But look at all the resources we're gonna get from this. Like damn. And we're just gonna hide back here. Is was what, what <laughs> You are outmatched. Uh-huh. I am outmatched. Well, unfortunately for you, I have this thing called friends. And these friends are gonna help me out. Okay, preferably I stay away from... Oh, that's that's a risky shot right there. So luckily there's no friendly fire. I wonder at some point if it's gonna be like, Hey, uh, I'm outmatched actually and he'll pay me money. That's my question. Let me see if I can contact him now. He's trying to now... Wow, he wants all my money. No. Bro. You're the one struggling here, man. It's bro retreating. Hold on. I could, I could hail him now. No, don't deny my thing. Hold on, you shoot at him. Oh yeah, I'm participating in this fight. Yeah, I'm participating now. Better fear me, bro. I could take you out. We surrender. Accept your surrender. Hell yeah, that's free money! <laughs> Third 20k in the bank! So that's it guys, that's how you make 100k, almost 200k in like the first like 10 minutes of gameplay. Uh, it's not hard at all, I would recommend it. Uh, it would be harder to do if I tried like getting one of these two, although there is a hyper jump station here, so in theory these two wouldn't be too hard, because I can just get in between them and then they'll fight each other. Uh, so that is how you make a lot of money really quickly, and uh, obviously if I were to keep going, I would have all this loot right here, so it wouldn't cost too much to uh, to upgrade my ship, actually, because this is a whole lot of free loot on the ground. Alright, thank you for watching.